C.L. Brown here, and this is my man, Jimmy Kelly. We are here this week to give you some winners. For Nine and three. So, <laughs> Not uh, you, man. I have to give you the, the shout out. Uh, well, first of all, both of us went four and two last week with our college basketball picks. Um uh, Jimmy right now has the overall lead on me. He's nine and three in two weeks. I am six and six, uh, but I'm trending upward. I had to, I had the improvement from uh, only two winners that first week, so uh, I'm feeling strong, man. I'm feeling strong. Because you got to eat last week with the with the wins. Uh, yeah, <laughs> exactly, exactly. Well, let's jump right into our games this week. Uh, let's start. From the Big 12, a big battle of ranked teams. You have West Virginia at Baylor. Uh, the spread on that one is Baylor minus five and a half. What do you think about that? Uh, what do you think about that spread? Baylor, Baylor's for real. I mean, they're legit top four. Um, and their defense, I mean, West Virginia has a hard time scoring anyway. And Baylor's defense, they're going to lock West Virginia down. Um, I see Baylor winning by 10 to 11. I agree. I think um, oh, that's not good for me. <laughs> West Virginia. Hey, it was last week. That's West Virginians true. lost their last three straight road games straight up. Um, I think they kind of came out flat at Oklahoma. Um, they've, they've lost their last two games, period. They, they lo- lost at or Kansas at home and uh, they lost at Oklahoma. Though. Yeah, that's tough, but still, I'm just telling you where they're trending. I think they are trending down, and I think Baylor, as you said, legitimate um, national title contender. So uh, I'm going with the Bears in that one. Uh, Let's skip to come back to the ACC, coming back home. We have Louisville at Clemson. Uh, Louisville is a five-point favorite in that one. Um, coming off a loss at Georgia Tech, by the way. Yeah, Louisville will bounce back. I think Louisville will beat up Clemson a little bit. Clemson, I'm still not a not a believer, even at home. Uh, Louisville's won some tough games on the road. They'll uh, they'll take care of Clemson. Refocus. I think Louisville is going to come out focused. Louisville. Um... They have a new – They well, they possibly could be trotting out a new starting lineup. I think Chris Mack might shake up some things after that loss at Georgia Tech. They've been prone to uh, getting off to some slow starts, uh, especially in road games. I feel like Louisville has played down to their competition in, in stretches. Um, that explains being behind Wake Forest at home uh, that game. Um, I think I'm going Clemson, though. As much as I think Louisville's going to be being reinvigorated – <laughs> it's a basketball game. I'm just yes, I know. Clemson is a force at home, though. They took down Duke. They took down NC State, um, Wake, Syracuse. They're, they're coming in strong. They they lost to uh, Notre Dame at home, but that was without Amir Sims, and he makes everything go for them. So mm-hmm. he's back. You know, he just missed that one game. He's back in the lineup now. Uh, I think I'm going to take Clemson to cover Louisville to win, though. Next game we have at four o'clock as well. Notre Dame at Duke. Blue Devils, twelve and a half point favorite. I will be at that game too in person. The pot of gold, luck of the Irish. A late three to cover the spread. That's what I like. <laughs> oh wow. Um there's a crazy stat that I meant to look up for, for Notre Dame. They have they haven't lost a game by more than five points since November, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yes, I, I also – what you say? They'll probably lose by more than five today, but not <laughs> more than 12 and a half. Well, I, I think uh, I think they're, they're a strong play. I think Duke at home – let me tell you about the, the times I've gone against Duke at home this year. Um, Stephen F. Austin, that was like a 25 point spread, if I'm not mistaken. And I was like, Stephen F. Austin will give them trouble. I did not predict the upset, but I knew Stephen F. Austin would be an easy cover that game. I picked Louisville going into Cameron Indoor. I picked Florida State going into, uh, what was that, Monday game? Uh, going into Cameron Indoor. So I'm also going with the Irish going into Cameron. Um, 
again, Irish to cover, uh, Duke to win outright. So let's skip to the six o'clock game. We have Maryland at Michigan State. Uh, probably earlier in the earlier in the year, this would have been the marquee game for the Big Ten, but uh, it hadn't gone that way for Michigan State right now. Who, who they the Spartans fell out of the top twenty-five this week. So, what do you think about that game? Michigan State is just a different team at home. On the road, they are terrible, which doesn't make a lot of sense. But uh, seems like a lot of points. I mean, six and a half Maryland's good. Um, but Michigan State at home, I, they just play differently. They're just a lot better at home than they are on the road. I'll take Michigan State at home. Dang, man. You've been cheating off my notepad. I, <laughs> I haven't seen anything. <laughs> Despite uh, despite Michigan State's recent struggles, I think you've been cheating on my notepad. Nine and three, you're <laughs> picking all my my picks. I agree with Michigan State. Um, I think historically Maryland has had a problem going into East Lansing. Um, hadn't had a close game there in the Breslin Center since uh, 2015 when they uh, played an overtime game, but they usually get blowed out <laughs> in East Lansing and. Uh, Maryland's coming off, what, 72-70 win against Nebraska at home. Um, like, I, I don't think they're necessarily coming into this game strong. So, I, I feel State like... State rallied, it, or well, they held on, I guess, against Illinois. Yeah, yeah, I think like, uh, Cassius Winston gets it done. Plus, Tom Izzo was fired up over some Twitter comments directed at his players and stuff. Michigan State's going to come out. He stays fired up. I like him. Take the Sparties. Um, and the final game, 8 o'clock tilt. I will also be at this game. You have the Virginia Cavaliers coming to the Deaney Smith Center to take on the Tar Heels. Carolina is a two-point favorite. What the heck? <laughs> coming off of laying a dud against Wake Forest. Yeah. That's, the game. that's not a dud. That's the no their normal play. Uh, <laughs> take Virginia. I mean, as much as I hate to say it, Carolina, not good. And Virginia, they're not as good as they've been in years past, but they're still pretty solid. You may not want to watch this till the second half, because <laughs> at least you'll have double digits by then. Um, look for a 9-7 halftime score, and then they'll, <laughs> they'll turn it on the second half, 41-39 Virginia. Yeah, Virginia, uh, well, Virginia's playing defense like they always play. That hadn't changed. They're still uh, top five Ken Palm defensive efficiency. Um, offensively is where they've been struggling to score um, and produce. But that has changed here recently. They've been better at it. Um, Thomas Wolden, I don't pronounce his name right, Wolden Tasse um, has been a three-point Killer for them. He had seven threes against Wake Forest, seven threes against uh, against Louisville in their loss on the road. Um, all of these things say Virginia, but I think I'm going with the Hills, man. <laughs> as the as Brandon Robinson is not playing. Garrison Brooks is still. Uh, Roy Williams said his eye was better, but he still kind eye of stitches and lip taped up wrist. Yeah. Yeah, but I he's feel like the epitome of the team banged up. Yes. I feel like Wake Forest, though, their effort there was really just a hangover from the loss at Duke. I do think we'll see a more inspired effort from the Tar Heels tonight. And uh yeah, I think I think they're gonna win this one. Um uh, no, Virginia will this. not let uh they're gonna double point guard all night. You know what? Virginia normally doesn't do that. They, they don't have to. They're, they're that pack line defense, uh, which I broke down on the next session of Breakdown with Matt Doherty. We're going to have a session on the pack line defense of Virginia. But, um, yeah, uh, Cole, he struggled. That was his last game playing in December before he missed the next 11th game, uh, 11 games with his knee injury. Um, and he had a bad outing that game, forced a lot of things. So, yeah. But I think I think coming off the game he had at Wake Forest, I think he's gonna bounce back as well. So, uh, and plus, man, I gotta catch up. So I gotta I gotta take some risk here and go against you some <laughs> games, you know. So um, so let's sum it up for these five picks this week. Uh, we both like Baylor at home against West Virginia. 
Uh, we differed in Louisville and Clemson. You have Louisville, I had to Clemson. We felt the same about uh, Notre Dame uh, at Duke and um, Michigan State. We both felt the same one. So we got we got two games we're differing on this week. Um, you got Virginia. I got Carolina. You have Louisville. I have Clemson. You putting that faith in those road teams, man. Might come back to bite you. Yeah, I hate going against Carolina at home, but what are how many games have they won at home? Man, it's it's put it on one hand, right? <laughs> <laughs> I do believe it's uh, not bad. Definitely been a atypical year. Um, well, that will do it for pickup lines for this week. Tune in, click on clbrown.com for more or clbrownhoops.com for more coverage of ACC basketball. And uh, come on back next week with uh, hopefully your winnings because I'm planning on catching you, Jim, before the year is out. Good luck.